So the burning question on everyone's mind, surely, what is Exalate exactly? So Exalate's an integration solution, uh, synchronization, kind of a similar thing. Obviously, these logos that you can hear, see on the screen, you can integrate between those. So hopefully everyone here is familiar uh, with Jira, of course. But obviously, ServiceNow, Azure DevOps, and Salesforce as well. We see a lot of common use cases, uh, including Zendesk. Right. So, well, to the basics, I guess, uh, you can mainly take the data uh, of one of your issues or one of your issues, and you can basically use that to create, let's say, a ServiceNow incident, uh, a Zendesk ticket, uh, well, uh, lead in Salesforce and so on. So this is a really nice visual to kind of explain exactly what's going on and the kind of end user result that you can get once you've configured Exalate. So on the left side, we've got a, obviously a Jira ticket and on the right side, we've got a Salesforce case. As you can see, the comments are in sync. Uh, so really, this is the, the end result that you can see here when using Exalate. Right, and throughout time, we've seen many people trying to manually synchronize that data uh, copying, pasting data from one platform to the other. So let's say you've got two teams, let's say two companies, right? In each side, you've got one person and the job literally of that person is copying the data from the platform, uh, putting it into an email, believe it or not, sending it to the other company. The other company takes the data from the email and pastes it into their own platform. You can already see uh, the waste of time, uh, AKA money as well, wasting and yeah, without even mentioning the human error and without also mentioning um, security risk as well. So we work with a whole range of companies across different organizations and different sectors. Just scrolling through the different slides here. Um, of course, government organizations, we're, we're very well adverse with different industries uh, and different use cases and business needs as well. Um, we have over 3000 installs on the Atlassian marketplace, which is good to know. Uh, and yes, yeah, so let's go through a couple kind of business use cases. Yeah, so uh, one of our examples, uh, wireless cars. Well, basically uh, keeping your data intact and secure is a very important thing, right? So wireless cars is actually using our product uh, for traceability of their tickets and their workflows. And they're also guaranteeing by that uh, their security by, uh, so basically data is being pulled by in a very secure way. And thanks to the running synchronization, uh, they turned a very time consuming process into a super smooth one. Yeah, due to the different use cases of the tools that we're integrating, like Jira, of course, um, we deal with a whole range of different uh, um, use cases. So DPG uh, are acquiring companies. They're a big Belgium kind of media group. Um, so in the business of acquiring companies, obviously, you're bringing on new platforms, new projects, and new people. Uh, so keeping everything harmonized and keeping everything together is something that they use Exalate for every day. Cool. And we got also... Um uh, OpenGI yeah, was one of the leading uh, technology companies uh, when it comes to uh, insurance industry in the UK and the island as well. Uh, well, with the help of Exalate, uh, uh, they have now a more intuitive collaboration between their teams. So their teams are using uh, different platforms and now there's no more manually synchronizing data. They're literally um, uh, having like easily synchronizing their status on both sides with just couple of button clicks. So NetGuru, the final case here, is a kind of growing uh, innovation consulting company. Uh, and they're using Exalate for a few different things, obviously boosting productivity uh, by means one. But on a second way, they are splitting the two instances, that Azure DevOps and Jira. Um, previously, people were logging into both, uh, therefore increasing the license costs. When you keep your platforms separate and you just license uh, the correct people in each, then you can really benefit um, and reduce costs as well as boosting productivity as well. One of the unique things about Exalate is, as an integration solution, it's its decentralized, well, it's written there, decentralized architecture. When you open Exalate, when you install it on your platforms, you're presented with a few configuration modes. So I'll yeah. come out Well, indeed, that. life presents you uh, most of the times, I guess, with different opportunities, different paths, and you just, well, choose uh, the one that fits your needs the most. Same thing with Exalate. We've got two modes, the no-code mode and the scripting mode. Well, the NOCO mode, uh, I think you guessed it, it's just a visual interface. Uh, you can set up your synchronization there, uh, set up your mappings uh, using a uh, drag and drop, easy to use interface, accessible yeah, for both business users and technical users as well. Yeah, especially for the technical users, when we talk about the script mode, it's a groovy based scripting engine. And this is the true power of Exalate in here. We've seen a lot of use cases when we're speaking with clients and very impressive what, what can be done here. This is perhaps why we are the most powerful uh, integration app.